head. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Happy Tuesday. It is we're in this we're deep in this coronavirus situation right now but honey i'm showing up we are here um i just want to welcome you today this is going to be episode this is episode 221 of actors daily bread um and tonight i just was on my heart um i want to talk about how to show yourself appreciation instead of criticism so be sure to rock with me um and uh the replay will be available for anything that you miss um i'm live on instagram what's up insta fam i'm live on facebook what's up facebook hi orlando right so listen uh if this is your first time watching put a one in the comments if you're og put og in the comments for all my replay watchers who will watch this later what's up replay watchers love you guys that's so weird. I have not a single person on Instagram. That is so rare at this time. Hi, Ursula. So listen, I'm just going to dive in. And look, those who miss any parts of this can watch it later. Um, you know, I, I make a point to um, my day. I work from home always. Um, so this whole quarantine thing it's not weird for me. It's just like, oh, just another day. My schedule's busy as always. Um, and so throughout my day, I treat my coaching career business, uh, career coach business, like my, not even a nine to five, because that's not my hours. My hours are 10 to seven. <laughs> so, and I give myself lunch breaks and all this stuff. And I was talking about this last night to my inner circle members. Shout out to all of you. But part of my day, um, you know how when you, when you have, for those of you who have jobs, right, outside of like waiting tables or bartending where you don't get proper breaks at all, average jobs, you get a 15 minute break in the morning, maybe in the evening, and they get an hour lunch. So part of my day is I make time to read. No, no, no. Why is Facebook trying to end my live video? No. I make time to read. Like I literally put it in my calendar, then I get my phone and I set the timer for my phone to read of course no people call, like people love to call me when i'm live um so i make time to read and i was reading today i set i set my timer for 30 minutes just for personal development um in the morning sometimes i do personal development um but today i had a spanish lesson con mi maestra en la ciudad de mexico para mi español quiero ser fluido en español so i always have my i have tengo muchas clases um throughout the la semana but today i didn't get to do my personal development in the morning i did it in the afternoon as i'm getting ready to wind down so here's what made me think of you and listen come on in the room say hi show me some love we all need some i can't hug none of y'all i wish i could hug y'all in real life but we just don't oh, give each other a good virtual hug but as i was reading today so here's my current read and fyi about me i read multiple books at the same time it's based on how I'm feeling, what I feel that my spirit needs, what I feel that my brain needs, how many clients I have, like what where, what headspace I'm in. So I will hop from personal development, like um, to you know spirituality to whatever. So to a book, one of the books I'm reading is a classic. It's old, and it's Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. I mean, old, old book. Okay. But we need these old books to like just get to the root of things. And here's what came up for me today. Hi, Sheila. So I'm reading this first, this one of these early chapters about not giving people too much criticism, like an understanding that people in general operate better from praise than criticism. And this is challenging for me in in many ways, because as a coach, my job is to critique you so that I can make you better. <laughs> so that you can learn from your mistakes or learn from the things that are not working so well and internalize that, fix it, and then move on with your life and do things better. And the 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 perspective of this chapter is basically like, yes, criticism is necessary, constructive criticism. But also, people, we as humans, tend to re just remember naturally what we get praised for. And it's almost like just wanting to get more praise for the things we got praised for. And, and not to like be offensive, but when I think about my dog, I can be like, don't do that, don't do that. Those of you with kids, 
don't do that. Didn't I say don't do that, right? So yes, they hear that. And you know, we put up our defenses and then we block it, but we're so much more open to man. That was good. Good job my for my dog. Good boy. Here's a treat for your kids. Man, I'm so proud of you, son. I'm so proud of you, daughter. I know you don't talk like that, but you get what I'm saying. Like, man, when you did that, that was amazing. And gosh, I'm so proud of you. And again, I'm not a parent. I own a dog and a turtle, but I would imagine those of you who are parents and tell me if I'm lying, like that's the stuff that sticks with me. I, I have, there's no better feeling when my mother says, oh, I'm so proud of you, Christine. Oh, that was a good job. At 42 years old, that still means something to me. And so as I was reading this chapter in Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People, it just made me think about how I, how we deal with ourselves as actors and creatives and how it's so easy for us to, whether we're doing a self tape, whether it's an in-person audition that didn't go as planned, um, whether we're dealing with our personal relationships, you know, we all have a tendency to sometimes practice the worst case scenario, right? And sometimes things don't go as planned. And sometimes we can be like, oh, I can't believe I did this. I can't believe, oh, Man, I should have did this. Oh, man. Cause all after the fact. Cause of course, after you leave an audition, after you do a self tape and send it, you're like, oh, I wish I woulda. Oh man, I wish I woulda. And I just want to invite us, you know, cause of course we're all right now in this kind of very reflective place. Um, hi, hubby. My hubby's just joined. You call me. I'm live, boo. That's why I didn't pick up the phone. <laughs> Um, we're all in this ref reflective place and I just want to invite us to give, give ourselves more appreciation for the work that we did do. Like whether we book it or not, whether we get a call back or not, whether my, whether, um, your friends think it's good, whether the, your coach who coached you on think, thinks it's good. How about we just give our, ourselves a moment to sit in, man, I did that. Like I was talking to one of my girlfriends um, the other day. She was like, oh, I had a juicy audition. I killed it. I was like, oh, I killed my audition. And I was like, it's in the middle of the quarantine. I don't even know if my agent even sent it off. It don't even matter. Stuff is shut down. But I was like, I want to make sure that they got it because I just want to make sure. I felt good about it. And just sitting in, let's ignore the other takes that I did that sucked. Or maybe the audition that I had that didn't go as well. But I think we owe it to ourselves to give each other, give ourselves more appreciation. So I just wanted to share this with you real quick. Again, from this book, Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People, a classic book. And yes, I be reading these old timey books, honey, Napoleon Hill, Dale Carnegie. Honey, all the people, a lot of the thought leaders you follow have studied these people and study this and they just regurgitate and we make it our own. So here's one thing that was, I'm just gonna read two things for you. And you're welcome to get this book yourself. I got, as you can see, I don't be lying about the library, honey. Library book. So when Alfred Lunt, one of the great actors of his time, played the leading role in Reunion in Vienna, he said, there is nothing I need so much as nourishment for my self-esteem. And can we not all agree? Like, so that means, and so for me, like I'm reading this book as a, for myself as a human, but then I'm also reading this book as a coach. And how can I make sure I'm, I'm pouring love into my students? And even one of my mentors, shout out to Freddie Hendricks, he's always like, you know, sometimes when I'm dealing with a tough client or a difficult situation with one of my clients, my Freddie always says, Christine, it's easy to build somebody back up after you've it's going to sound bad. Like it's easy to build somebody back up after you torn them down. Like meaning I can give you 50, 50 notes, but as long as I build you back up at the end, like make sure I do that. That's essential because you may, once I give you the first note or the third note in my inner circle clients and my book more TV clients, you're probably resonating with this and other coaches if you're watching. But once I give you the first note to three notes, there's probably a fog over you like, oh, I suck. I didn't do it again. Oh man, I messed up. Am I even cut out for this? Like I'm still talking and then you're, I'm still giving you notes, but you're not even hearing it. So it's essential that I make sure I build you back up. And when you're ready, you'll hear those other notes and you'll grow from that. But here's what I want to also say this. This is in the book too. It says, 
I shall pass this way, but once. Oh, okay, let me just, let me back up to the top of page 32 if you have this book. Hurting people not only does not change them, it is never called for. There is an old saying that I have cut out and pasted on my mirror where I cannot help but see it every day. I shall pass this way but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do or any kindness that I can show to any human being, let me do it now. Let me not defer nor neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. And you know, guys, I'm always talking about spreading love and, and, and that's just not for everybody else in the world. It's for us to spread love to ourselves, spread love to our own spirit, spread love to our own dreams, goals, and desires. So it says Ralph Waldo Emerson, who Science of Mind, if you have that book, if you follow New Thought in any way, let's try to figure out the other person's good points. Forget the flattery. Like, don't just blow smoke on my ass, basically. Give honest, sincere appreciation. And so that's just where I'm coming from today. But again, my brain was split into this for my clients, but then this for me. So that I don't have to beat myself up for that audition that didn't go as planned, for that agent meeting that didn't go as planned. Or for me, you know, this yesterday I talked about procrastination. Hi, Wendy. Right? Yesterday I talked about um, procrastination and how we can uh, beat that. So I don't want you to even beat yourself up about the things you haven't been doing. Like show yourself some love. Like show yourself some appreciation. How about at the end of the night, before we lay down to sleep, when we're in the bed, kids asleep, you, you in bed, you half asleep, maybe watching TV, whatever, half reading a book. Just give yourself freaking kudos for like, you know what I did today? I did this. I did that, I did that. I killed today. I was like super freaking productive today. Ain't own that. And my <laughs> my husband could tell you like, I'd be like, oh, I did this, 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 and this. Oh, I didn't do that. And it's like, no, but this is what I did do. This is what was on my to-do list. And I got two out of the eight things done and that's progress. Because the old version of Christine would be like, I only did two things. Oh, what's wrong with me? I, I gotta go harder. And it's like, just chill, boo. <laughs> Relax. My dog is snoring. He's like, look, I slept today. So <laughs> I just want to place that in your spirit. Listen, I love, you know, people often ask me, y'all, I'm over here with a cane. I done bought this cane. I didn't take the thing off because I'm probably going to return it. I am like legit, like feeling senior real senior vibes all my lion king injuries are coming back in this rain it has been raining non-stop in la and every joint when i tell you oh my gosh i'm not even like a full out dancer but this right ankle foot is struggling i bought a cane today y'all nothing make you feel more old than getting a cane you'd be like really feel some kind of way about it <laughs> But seriously, I'm going to wrap. I just want to keep sending you love and encouragement. I'm planning on being live all week. I plan on being live till we come out of this freaking quarantine. Because I just want to make sure we stay prayed up. We stay loved on. We stay, we're separate, but we are together. And, you know, there's so much we can work on. And so a lot of you DM me and ask, you know, how I spend my days. You know, typically on Wednesdays, <laughs> typically on Wednesdays, I do a work with me Wednesday where you take the day with me. But just so you know, like, Things like personal development, taking time to read. For some of you, it's the Bible. For some of you, it's personal development. For some of you, it's listening to an audible book. Whatever it is, literally make time for it. I have it in my calendar. I literally set 30 minutes on the timer and make. And I will stop what I'm doing. I'm like, no, because there will never just be free time. I'm just gonna take free time to read today. Like that just doesn't happen. Um, but when I make it a priority, because my my mind needs it. I need it to pour into you. You need it. So that's it. Find ways to show more appreciation for yourself. It's so easy for us to focus on the things that could we could be doing better, to focus on the things that need improvement. 
but there's so many things that you are doing right. The fact that you showed up for yourself another day is already a win. So, so celebrate that, give that some gratitude. The more you are grateful, the more you will have to be grateful for. So, all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hasta mañana. Have a good night.